Fremantle have unveiled their latest recruits with the aim of having an impact in 2011. But the draftees themselves plan on developing over the pre-season, including pl spending plenty of time in the gym. With the expectation of playing senior footy in his debut season, first round draft pick Jaden Pitt admits he has some work to do and fast, adding weight to his slender 72 kilo frame. Obviously that's probably a goal of mine to, to put a little bit, bit more weight on and, and develop the body a little bit, but yeah, that, that'll come I suppose in the, in the next couple of years. From one of the lightest to the youngest, Josh Mellington, the most junior of all the 2010 draftees. But he's not worried about his age, he's just keen to get down and dirty. Not really setting any goals yet, just looking forward to um, getting down to training and you know, just proving as much as we can until round one. And that seems to be the recurring theme amongst the Dockers' young additions. Be ready, but don't expect to be a walk-up start. We expect you to come in and you've got to want to play round one, AFL. There's no time, you know, we can't, can't wait around. Even Frio's mature age recruits know where they stand. 24-year-old Perth product Tendai Mazungu with a breakout season in the WAFL puts his success down to the departed Demons coach Andrew Jarman. He's a good man, Andrew. Uh, he definitely um, pumped my tyres up a lot and, and uh, yeah, just probably made a few people sick. But um, he encouraged me to do the things that I did well and, and um, yeah, it was really positive with myself. Fullback Peter Foulkes has had his chance at AFL level with Sydney. Two years on from being dumped, he now enters 2011 with a point to prove. I had a burning passion to play at the highest level. and Once I was delisted from Sydney, I didn't want to go back and play sort of local footy with mates. Tim Hipsley, 10 News. Similarly, former Crow Jonathan Griffin is looking forward to a fresh start with Frio after being traded home to WA. And Katie Price caught up with a 24-year-old who will help shoulder the ruck duties in 2011. Thanks, Goss. I'm with Jonathan Griffin now. John, as an East Fremantle boy, how does it feel to be back in WA after six years in Adelaide? Uh, yeah, it's great. Um, as you said, I've, I've, I was in Adelaide for six years and uh, I enjoyed my time there. But, uh, you know, it's obviously back, great to be back with family and friends and um, obviously playing for a club that I barracked for. So, um, yeah, it's a dream come true and I'm, I'm happy to be back. And you actually drove across from Adelaide for a very special young lady. Can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah. Um, I've got a puppy, uh, she's about four years old and um, uh, she's a bit timid with uh, uh, other people so I thought it'd be, it'd be good to drive her over here. Um, so yeah, spent uh, a day and three quarters driving <laughs> over. Well she's very spoilt, so obviously a great time to be joining the club as well, exciting times ahead. And to be working alongside Aaron Sandland is obviously one of the most dominant ruckmen in the league. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, he's uh, got a couple of all Australian jumpers now. and. Um, I've obviously played against him as well, so it's going to be great to be, um, you know, his teammate and on this side of the fence. So, um, you know, it's going to be gr great for me uh, development-wise. Um, I'm going to learn a lot from him and, uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. Obviously, you've had a couple of injuries in the past few years. Is, is that the focus of the pre-season, to get your body right and get some consistency into your footy? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I had a solid pre-season last year um, and I, I was playing some good footy, but unfortunately I had an ankle injury that uh, put me in a moon boot for a couple of weeks. So um, I didn't have much of an off-season uh, to prepare for the pre-season, but uh, definitely this pre-season I'm, I'm going to work hard with my body and, and with my training and hopefully, you know, it, uh, gives me a good deal of confidence into the season. Well, we look forward to seeing you run out there for Fremantle. All the best for the future and thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you. Goss, it's back to you. Plenty of support there for Aaron Sandlands in 2011.